I think you're only as good as the copy that you produce. You know, um, with schools like, you know, Illinois Center for Broadcasting here, it's not a four-year program. Um, you're only as good as the copy you produce. Think about now, you have all these internet people and they're blogging and all this other stuff. And as long as you're not plagiarizing or stealing, cutting and pasting ideas from other people, I think that, you know, if you submit good copy and you show passion and it's, you know, grammatically correct and, and, and holds the reader attention, holds the reader's attention, then I think it doesn't matter. You know, I, I, I've been applying for a lot of jobs lately and they don't say must have a college degree. They say, you know, at least a high school degree, preferred education college, then sometimes, you know, preferred master's degree. So, uh, no, I, I think is you're, if you're writing now, the best advice I can give you is, you know, start a blog or, 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 or try to get a little bit of a following through Twitter or Facebook or something um, and, um, you know, take that approach. But if you'd like to write, you should try to write something every day. That's why I say don't ever pass up an opportunity to go up and introduce yourself to somebody. You never know when it might come in handy. And if you make enough of impression, they might remember. Or they might forget, but because you had the, you know, audacity to come back up and say, hey, do you remember I met you that one time? They'll, they'll probably say, yeah, I remember. But maybe they don't, but at least, you know, at least they'll give you an opportunity. And that's how I got ahead. Every time I get shy, and it's kind of funny being a 50-year-old man, you think, oh, you're still shy around celebrities or sporting news. I think about my mom who always used to preach to me, you know, keep plugging away. Don't be afraid to introduce yourself. What's the worst thing going to happen? They could say, oh, sorry, I'm busy, you know. But, but most people, if you genuinely go up and say, hey, I'm an idol of yours, or I read some of your copy, or I've seen you on TV, I just wanted to introduce myself. Do you have any advice for me? Uh, that's all, every time I met anybody in the business, I would ask them their career path, looking for something that was similar to me that I could grab a hold of and take away and say, yeah, this is what I'm going to do. And that's why it's important for me to come back and speak to classes like this. I've spoken to classes at KU. I've spoken to classes in Arizona. And I even spoke to some you know, UK journalism classes through, with some friends of mine I used to work with just to kind of try to inspire the youth and give them hope for the future because you guys are the future. And you guys have such an advantage.